I am here to review the Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries, issue number five. And this is a really good one. What I like about this issue is that it's actually a sequel to a classic Scooby-Doo episode. In episode of the original Scooby-Doo series, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?, uh, they dealt with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And this actually, it's not a remake of it. It's actually a sequel. It, it references what happened at episode. It's very much a sequel to that episode. It's a, it's a decades later sequel and in a different format, in, com in a comic format. And it's, that's actually really interesting. And they have an explanation for why they're back there and it involves Kirk Langstrom man bat uh, Kirk Langstrom going there and that Kirk Langstrom and, and man bat that fits in very well with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde so it's actually a great idea for a crossover for a Batman Scooby-Doo comic so I felt like of the Batman Scooby-Doo comics this had one of the more interesting stories as it's really a and it really feels like a Scooby-Doo where are you crossover with Batman the animated series that that man bat design Batman the animated series for the very first episode on leather wings like that's what that's like and Batman's design changes a lot in these comics with what the design they use for Batman and in one of the stories, they had a penguin that looked like Batman the Animated Series, but Batman didn't really necessarily look like Batman the Animated Series. But here, that design, that very much looks like Batman from Batman the Animated Series. So it very much is a crossover, and it's a sequel. It, it feels like a sequel to the Scooby-Doo episode from Scooby-Doo Where Are You with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and also a sequel to the very first episode of Batman the Animated Series on Leather Wings. And it's really, it's great. It's actually really clever writing and a very good follow-up to both of those episodes. And crossing over Dr. Jekyll and Man Bat, that was brilliant. And so it's actually a really good comic. It's pretty much the best use they could possibly get out of both Man Bat and Dr. Jekyll in a Batman Scooby Doo crossover series. So if you're a big fan of Batman the Animated Series, or if you're a really big fan of Scooby Doo, where are you? I really feel like you should see this issue. I feel like this is one of the big ones you should go to because this, it really does feel like they really had something really clever going on and I felt very impressed and surprised by how good the writing was in this issue so I, I highly recommend it.